Hi, this is Paul for Fast Attack. In this video, I will introduce two formulas to find the doubling time, which means we can uh, build the doubling time growth model if we find the doubling time. Here is the first formula. To find the doubling time given P0 and Pt, we can solve the growth model. We learned from the last video, right? And then to find what is TD and given in this formula, uh, we do have two formulas here. The first is LN, which is a natural logarithm, natural logarithmic function. The second LOG is a common logarithmic function. And both give you the same answer. So don't worry. You can use either way. Um, let me draw a graph to show what the meaning. Here, let me draw. Uh, the axis coordinate is a T. Now this is a T. The Y coordinate, of course, this is a PT. And uh, given P0 and the PT, P0 is the initial value. Okay, so I put it here. here. P0. And the PT is another point. If I say is here, there's a PT. So the time is at a T, right? And they see, if we know these two points, we can find a unique exponential model. Okay, let me link these two points. So like this, grow exponentially. And uh, so we know the initial, we know the future value. Of course, we know the time. The question is how to find the model. We need to, to know what is the doubling time, right? And the, the doubling time is given in this uh, formula. Now, let me highlight, okay. In the examples, I will use the first formula, okay which is the natural logarithm. Um, this formula looks complicated, but uh, we can solve this uh, equation to find it's not uh, difficult. I will introduce uh, the proof of this uh, formula at the end of this video. But uh, first, uh, let's practice this formula. Here is the first question. The initial size of the tumor is four cells and the population grow to 64 cells after one year. If the population of tumor cells grows as an exponential model, what's the doubling time in month? Imagine, it says the tumor cells grow exponentially, right? So we should find a unique uh, exponential model, which means what is the doubling time? Okay, so um let me sh copy the formula first because we have a formula right okay td uh, let me put here is this fraction and the, the time t times ln add two uh ln is the natural logarithmic function okay and here is a the future PT over the initial P0. Okay, let me highlight. All we need is this formula. Now we look at it. We, if we need to find the TD, we need to know the time T. It says one year, right? We need to know what is the initial value P0 and the future value PT. Let me find all the parameter in the question. The first, uh, what is for? Four cell at the beginning, the initial size, which is a P0, right? We do have P0. And uh, grow to 64 cells, that's the future value, which is a PT. We know PT. What is T? T is after one year. Therefore, we also know T. Uh, but the question, let me highlight the doubling time TD in month. 
Okay, so we have to make the unit consistent. Therefore, I will change a little. So from here, so t the time is one year, but we have to use twelve month, right? Because here is use month. Okay, so I plug everything into the formula now. We should find what is the doubling time t d. Okay, so let me copy the formula. T is twelve month. L n at two. L n at the future is a sixty four. Over initial is a four. Okay, we set up okay the formula already. Now I will show you how to find the uh, the logarithmic function in the graph calculator. Here is uh, my calculator. I use Texas uh, Instrument 83 as a similar with the 84. Okay, so if we need to find uh, what the value of this uh, doubling time, we have to find the ln, right? Natural logarithm. Here you can see on the left side of the graph calculator is uh, ln. Of course, we do have another formula, right? We call the LOG. Common logarithm is there. Now I use the LN. So 12 times LN at 2. So LN parenthesis is already there. 2. Another parenthesis close. And then divide it. So divide it by LN again. 64 over 4. So 64 over 4 parentheses see and then enter what do we get we get the value is 3 okay let's uh, go back we just find the answer is 3 right so let me write here so the value of the double time is 3 what's the unit of course is a month Okay, uh, we do have uh, another method. Let me show you the second method. Okay, method uh, two, uh, which is uh, the definition. We can directly use the definition to find uh, what is the doubling time. Let me see. So the first or initial value, initial size of the tumor is 4, right? So let me write here, 4. Remember, 4 double go to 8. How long? We have to wait. Double in time, right? TD. Remember this? The same. Uh, the 8 double again. Go to 16. 16 double go to 32. 32 double go to 64. I put all the time needed. Here need another doubling time. Here another. Here another. So from four go to sixty four. How many doubling time do we need? And then we put it all together. See we can see how many doubling time? Four, right? So therefore is four times doubling time, which is the total time. What is the total time? From the question we see, that's one year, right? One year we change to month, which is 12 uh, month. And this is a simple equation, right? We solve. Now we can solve for TD. What is TD? 12 over 4, which is 3 month. We do get the same. Right, the same answer. Okay, so you say the second method is much easier. Okay, definitely, but it's only for this special question because from four to sixty-four, it goes through four double in time. If the number is not as good as sixty-four, okay, the method two does not work. Let me see the second question. 
Here is the second question. And this time you will see the second method does not work. Okay. So we have to use the formula. Okay. The question is this. A bird population on an island has been growing exponentially. If the initial population was a, a thousand, and the population grew to 14,000 after the two years. That's an exponential growth model, right? So we can use doubling time of growth to model the population. What's the doubling time? Okay, the same. In month, let me highlight the doubling time in month. Okay, the same, I copy the formula, uh, which is uh, TD, the doubling time equals a fraction. Here is T, right? And times ln at a 2. ln at the future over the initial. Now, we are going to find the parameter. Okay, so the first thousand, it says initial. So that's a P0. Grow to 14,000, which is the future value, right? We say PT. Then now here is two years, the time needed, which is a T. But you know, we have to change in month because of the doubling time in months. So two year is uh, 24 months. That's important. So let me highlight this number. Now, imagine we have a T is 24, uh, PT is 14,000, P0 is 1,000. So the same, now we can plug all the value into the formula. So we have uh, the doubling time equals a fraction. T is 24 month times LN at 2, divided by LN at the future is a 14,000 over the initial is a 1,000. The same as we just did in the calculator. Okay. If you're going to, uh, what kind of result? Okay. We will get an approximate number, which is a 6.3. Okay. 6.303588 like that. Okay, so we round it to one decimal. Okay. Um, so this is the answer already. Imagine. Okay, because six point three is not a good number, right? So do you think you can find uh, the doubling time using the second method? Of course not. From thousand goes to uh, fourteen thousand should go through six point three doubling time. Okay, we cannot draw a, a diagram to get the answer. Now, let me introduce another formula to find the doubling time. Here is the second formula to find the doubling time. And we call the, the rule of 70. And this formula is much easier than the first, first formula. However, this formula is just uh, for approximation. And we see, to find the doubling time, given growth rate R, R less than 15%, which means R is small, okay? When R is smaller than this threshold, 15%, we can use the rule of 70, which is uh, the doubling time approximated by 70 over R, and the R, capital R, is a hundred times the lowercase R, okay? And it is super easy, right? Why we call it 70, the rule of 70? Because it's just 70 over R. Let me give an example first. Uh, for example, if R is 7%, uh, okay? See, 7% is small, right? So this is a small, okay? Or you say it's smaller than 
15%. Okay, so let me put there. And now we can use the rule of 70. Therefore, see, what do we have? We need to find the capital R first. Capital R is a hundred times lowercase r, which is a hundred times seven percent. You know, it's just a seven, okay? Which means capital R is just a take the percentage away, okay? Now we plug into uh, the rule of seventy, which is uh, the doubling time can be approximated by seventy over capital R. That's 70 over 7, which is 10. Super easy, right? Okay. Um, I will introduce a proof for this uh, approximation formula at the end of this video. But first, uh, let's uh, practice uh, one question first. Here is the question. And uh, uh, put the population on an island has an annual growth rate of 2.5% per year was the doubling time in years rounded to the nearest integer and see the growth rate that we know 2.5 is small right smaller than 50% therefore the rule of 70 works okay let me highlight this first 2.5% is the growth rate which is less than 15%. It's small, right? So this is a small growth rate. Therefore, we use the formula, uh, the second formula, right? TD approximated by 70 over capital R. Capital R is 100 times small, lowercase uh, r. The second formula, we need and now we plug everything. Uh, do we have R? Yes. So we can finally find out what is TD. The first uh, we find R. R is a hundred times uh, lowercase uh, R, and therefore is a hundred times two point five uh, percent. You know, is two point five just right, and therefore we do have uh, the doubling time. Uh, approximated by 70 over 2.5 okay and if you do calculation and you will get 28 28 is years okay and that's the answer that's only approximation not the exact number Okay, but it's good enough, right? Now, let's practice, let's uh, prove the formula. Here is the proof for the first doubling time formula. We start from the doubling time model. Okay, let me put here. So, PT, the future, equals P0, the initial, times 2 is the base, raised to the power of T over TD. Okay, we learned this formula before, right? Now, P0 we know, PT we know, and the time T know, what do we don't know? Is this, the doubling time. We have to solve for TD from this equation. Okay, this type of equation we call the exponential equation. Okay, exponential equation. Let me show how to find the answer. Okay, the first we divide it uh, by p zero to both sides of the equation. And then we can cancel p zero. Right now we get a little simple. So the left, uh, which is uh, PT over P0. So the right is 2, the base. The power is uh, T over TD. Let me again highlight the 
variable we need to solve. And this is a, a standard equation we call it. Now, how to simplify this power? We do have a way, okay? Take logarithm to both sides, okay? Let me take uh, ln, which is a natural logarithm. I take a ln function to the left. See, I take a ln function to the right. Okay, they should be the same again. Let me put it inside. So here, P t over P zero. So here is a two raised to the power of t over t d. Again, let me highlight the variable. Okay, so now we do need a rule, okay? Help us to simplify this uh, power of the right side. We call the power rule of a logarithm. We can take down the power. Okay, let me put the result first. So the left is uh, ln pt over p0. The right now is just a t over td after we take down the power times ln add 2 right okay so let me write the rule on the right side which we call the power rule of logarithm is this ln a raised to the power of n we can take this power of a down to a multiplication, okay, which is, uh, no, sorry, which is uh, n, now is times ln at uh, a, okay, so our question a is 2, n is this big term, we take it down, we go to here, almost, now it's very simple, let me, Again, highlight the variable, td. Um, so how to find td? Now, we have to um, do uh, multiplication. That's okay. Cross multiply. If someone like, you can now times uh, td to the right, times uh, td to the left. Can you see? We can cancel the denominator and the numerator, right? Okay, so now TD goes to the left. And we need the TD. Again, I highlight TD. On this equation, how to find TD? Divide this uh, uh, coefficient, which we don't need. Okay, PT over P0 to the left. Divide the same number to the right. Okay, the left we cancel, we cancel this, and this, see, what do we get? We do get it, now the left is TD, which is the double in time, right? Equals, what do we have on the right? It's a fraction, time T times LN at 2, over LN at PT over P0. Let me highlight is this the formula we get it before? Which is the first the formula, right? Of course, in the middle step, if you change natural logarithm to common logarithm, you will get the, another formula, okay, another version, which is the same as the first formula. Now, let's prove the second double in time formula. Here is the proof for the second formula, which is the rule of 70. We need to approximate the double in time, right? Let's start from here. Okay, that's a TD, the double in time equals 1 over LOG2 at 1 plus R, which is the relationship between the double in time and the growth rate. Do you remember this? And we got this from one uh three point three point one the last video. Okay. Now I was going to 
change something on the denominator, okay, which is uh, I change the base of the logarithm. I change it to to uh, e of the number, okay. See, which is uh, l n add one plus r over l n add two. Let me highlight from here. We change it to this one. Uh, we simply call it. We change out the base. Okay. Uh, this is from algebra. Let me put the formula we used here, which is L O G. The base A at B equals. Okay. If you like, it, put B here. Equals this L N at B over L N at A. Okay. In our question, a is two, b is one plus r. Therefore, we can change to natural logarithm. Now, flip one divided by fraction is a flip the fraction, right? So we do have this way: ln at two over ln at one plus r. Okay, go from here. Now, let me put it to here. And look at the denominator. We do have a result, okay. And we do have this result. When r is small, okay. When r is small, or at least in our formula is r less than fifteen percent. Do you remember that? Okay. So we do have this approximation. L n one plus r approximated using r. Okay, that's a linear approximation. You learned this from calculus, or you will learn this from calculus. Let me highlight. We use this to approximation to the denominator. Therefore, we do have this now. The numerator is ln added to the denominator. Now, is simple, very simple, which is r. Okay, sorry, I have to change the equal sign. To proximate, almost、uh, from here. I now I times hundred to the denominator times a hundred to the numerator. Of course, we did not change anything, right? See now the denominator goes to capital R. Remember this, capital R is a hundred times a log s R. And the numerator, okay? You can use your calculator. Do calculation. We do get approximation. Can you see? Um, it's approximated、uh, using sixty nine point three. Now, okay. So you know this approximator again is R. The numerator is seventy because sixty nine point three is approximated to seventy. That's the final. Can you see? What do we have? We do have this is seventy over r. The beginning is the doubling time, so we do have the doubling time can be approximated by seventy over r. That's all. Thank you.